that International Women's Day is a global day to celebrate the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women and girls while also making a call to action for strengthening gender equality and accelerating women's empowerment. The United Nations General Assembly declared 8th of March the International Women's Day in 1975. The day is devoted to addressing pertinent issues on women such as gender equality, reproductive rights, violence and abuse against women, discrimination based on sex, exclusion, women's role in society, among others. As a member of the global community, Kenya joins the rest of the world in commemorating this day to honor women's contribution in socio-economic and political developments. Despite significant progress, gender inequality remains a pressing issue across the globe. Women still face significant challenges in areas like equal pay, access to education and healthcare, and representation in leadership positions. International Women's Day serves as a crucial reminder that the fight for gender equality is far from over. The theme for the observance of the International Women's Day 2024 is Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. This theme is based on the United Nations 68th Commission on the Status on Women Priority theme, accelerating the achievement of gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls by addressing poverty and strengthening institutions and financing with a gender perspective. The theme highlights four key issues relating to investing in women as a human rights issue, calling for urgent action in ending poverty through implementing gender-responsive financing and shifting to a green economy and care society to amplify women's voices. The theme resonates well with the National Development Agenda Kenya Vision 2030's social pillar, which aspires to build a just and cohesive society that enjoys equitable social development in a clean and secure environment through investing in the people. It further reinforces the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda, which recognizes the significance of women's economic empowerment in fostering equitable development and offers support through access to finance, markets, skill development and entrepreneurship. To highlight the importance of this day, we feature two amazing women who have taken the mantle to inspire girls in the informal settlements of Dandora and Kariobangi to bring positive change by nurturing their talents. Jerry Furaha, Global Head of Programming at Photostat in partnership with Teenage Mom Empowerment Organization in Dandora, are teaching young teenage moms vocation skills such as makeup, life skills, videography and storytelling through photography. So I'm in Wahi, then I'm in Moja, I'm in Moja. In the heart of Kariobangi, Sarah Acheng, popularly known as Champez, is training young girls' basic boxing skills for self-defense. Their stories are inspirational and encourage women to be resilient regardless of where they come from. Jerry Furaha, a three-time international award photographer with an experience of 20 years in documentary photography, Tells us what Photostat is and what they do. Photostat is, um, is an organization, we usually say it's a team of photographers and storytellers all around the world who come together with this main aim of inspiring change through the vehicle of photography. So with photography, we use it to mold creativity, bring up um, creative skills, give them the technical skills and help them amplify and use their voices for positive change. We have, so far we have teams in Kenya and in Kenya we are currently in Kibera. We have two programs in Kibera. We have two programs in Dandora. We have one in Korogocho, one in Soweto, in Kahawa, Kahawa Sukari. And then we have teams in 
online in Uganda, in Rwanda. We have physical teams in South Africa, Bolivia, and the United States. Yes. So we don't have offices per se. We work together with organizations on the ground and partner with especially youth organizations to bring the PhotoStart program to them. So why did they decide to start the program in Dandora, especially with teenage moms? Teenage moms uh, empowerment in Dandora is um, a project very close to my heart. We got to know about them last year and I was very inspired by the work that Njeri Kabiru does. And we wanted to be part of, an, you know, part to work with them in this journey where they are empowering teenage moms first with a skill that is economically viable for them, but also one that can help them tell their stories. When you hear teenage moms, you immediately know that once they have become teenage moms, they have nothing else to do or going on for them. The good thing about photography and storytelling skills is that anybody can do them, and especially these young girls. It gives them a purpose, something that they can inspire to or aspire to, something that they can wake up and know, I have the skills, I can put it into practice, and I can now start earning a living for my children. So the main reason why we wanted to do work with them is she's done great work so far, and I believe Photostat are able to add value to the work that she's already doing with these young girls and just at least push them a little bit further along in their economic um, empowerment lean. More often, Dandora is usually associated with crime, poverty and most commonly the dump site. But for Jerry, their main purpose is to change this narrative by equipping these girls with skills that they can use to tell stories of triumph that emanate from Dandora. We ran one program and we realized the amount of creativity and innovation in Dandora has not been tapped. Number two is when you think about Dandora, what comes to your mind? Crime, murders, and the famous dump site. Knowing that the organizations on the ground that are doing amazing work and nobody knows about them. And the main reason for that is they don't have um, enough either enough skill or their staff have not been empowered to package, tell and package these stories and we have that skill innately. So Photostar now comes in and says, hey, we see the work that you're doing and we have the technical skills that we can bring to your organization and for your girls to learn this storytelling, photography, content creation skill that you now can take and harness in your organization and have this cycle of continuity and sustainability within your own organization. And when we as Photostat step away, nothing falls. You keep going on and on. The society tends to be judgmental and treat teenage moms pretty harshly, which add to the stigma and stereotypes that term them as irresponsible and prone to mistakes. However, Photostart has taken the initiative to build their self-esteem and confidence, reminding them of their self-worth. Jilan Jerry, a trainer at Photostart, shares her experience on her interactions with these girls. For Jilan, teaching these girls is not mainly focused on them having photography skills, but also positively impacting their lives. How has she been able to achieve this? There's this thing when you work with uh, people from the slums or you deal with people from vulnerable backgrounds, there's a stigma about strength is what is there. Weakness is not really acceptable, right? Vulnerability to them is weakness. So it's very hard for these people to be vulnerable towards you. So when we put them behind a camera, expressing themselves becomes very, very easy. They're able to interview each other and talk about what they've been through, what they want better for themselves, for their kids. So it becomes more fun than sad, rather, because we get to interact with them in their different capacities. With this year's International Women's Day theme, Jerry and Jilan are investing in these girls to bring change in the society. In line with this year's IWD theme, which is investing in women, accelerating progress, the reason we teamed up with Teen Moms Empowerment is because 
that they are in the exact line with the in line with theme. When you we usually say if you invest in a woman, you invest in a family, then you grow a nation. So we now take it even lower because these are teenage moms who have already been, you know, shunned and they wear that stigma of you know, teenage mom. We as Photostar chose to work with them because we can see how much they can be and how far they can go. And how also they can use whatever skills they gain to break stereotypes. We say being a teenage mom, it's like a nail in the coffin, you know where you're going. But then we have seen with these children, I call them children because they're my children, but with these teenage uh, girls, that all they need is someone to believe in them and give them a skill. Currently we are investing with women, yes. And again, we are accelerating as much progress as there is. So yes, I feel like it's a very, very big, uh, the title for this year is very, very impactful. And yes, that is exactly what we're doing here as Photostat with Team Moms. Jerry Kabiru, the founder and CEO of Teenage Moms Empowerment, tells us what inspired her to start this organization. Because I was a teenage mother, that is where the inspiration came, out of my own story um, and out of sharing my story on my social media, which is Jerry Kabiru, across all social media, I started having a lot of requests uh, from teenage mothers uh, because I think that is something that is unspoken. And for me, I went out boldly, first being a pastor's child, having a child in high school and trying to conquer or break the cycle of teenage motherhood. I spoke about it widely and more girls wanted to be part of this and that is how Teenage Moms Empowerment was born. Her passion for these girls is evident from her smile as she aspires to invest more in women and create a progressive society. This year's theme is invest in women, accelerate progress and as we're investing in women, like I'm saying this year, we're investing in 105 girls who are out there doing nothing. And I'm also grateful to a photo start for coming in to collaborate with us and make it even much more better and bigger. Out of 105 girls, imagine if just half of them get employment or create employment. What a society are we creating? And uh, that is what we are doing. So yes, we have invested in women and we will continue investing in women as long as we live. Monica Mukami, a student at Photostart, tells us how the photography classes has helped boost her self-esteem. Uh, photography has helped me to know myself better. I can tell myself more through the photos that I take based on I'm not that person who can tell maybe a story to a person, but through the photos that I take I can, take, I can tell more of my story and the background of where I've been born and raised. For Mukami, it is her wish that the people will view Dandora from a positive perspective. I would like to tell the world that Dandora is like any other town and any other city. We should not take a town based on the things that you see, but based on the people that you see. Because Dandora is also a place where children are raised well, the people are nice, the businesses that go in and out here, is, they are good. And even through the photos that we take, they tell about the story and how people are raised and we can become better people. Michelle Nyambura, a teenage mom, has defied all odds in her quest to become a better person and a valuable member of her community. So I got myself pregnant when I was in form 4, August. But I get to school get to after. My daughter, she's now nine months. Okay, so I could get to kwa society too. Obviously, as society, I'm get to I'm not perfect, but me, me myself ko enroll kwa teenage moms ili wa prove wrong. Cause now kuna kitu neza fanya na nime wa prove. Mtoye zini funga, like I can't stay in motherhood forever. Neza jitu moko inje na neza kuwa a great person. Mother si kitu ati neza ni funga, yezi funga any, any person. Uneza jitu maniwewe ni unatika kute perspective ya society. Changing the society's attitude is what Michelle is working towards and motherhood will not deter her.
she continues to encourage other teenage moms like her to walk with their heads high. Teenage moms when you are in jail, Mimi neza wambia, society si wa let down, na society si waneshe kukua mama, ati lazima uke na yo perspective we ni mama, akuna please uneza enda, uneza enda fa sana, na yo mtoi wako akufungi kitu, yo ni baraka yako, yo ni strength yako, ana kupush to a better future, na yo mtoi wako kikapo kijita mama, akuna venye utamsaidia, but ukijituma, yo mtoi wako utamsaidia vibaya tena sana, na ya te ituwa mama venye uli, ituwa mama kani kademu, na kama ni kaboi, Ata zalishwa na venye uli zalishwa, utamonesha kitu mzuri ukuli nje. In Kariobangi, one of Nairobi's toughest neighborhoods, a boxing academy is fighting to empower women and girls while teaching them their rights to education, self-determination, economic independence, a decent standard of living, respect and to a life free from violence. Box Girls Kenya uses boxing as a sport component to positively engage women and girls in activities that can empower them in relation to their rights and to develop life and leadership skills. One, two, three, four in time. We meet with Sarah Aching, Commonwealth Boxing Council champion and currently ranked number five worldwide training with the girls. She tells us of how she got into boxing. I actually had passion in doing sport, but I didn't have a passion in doing a boxing sport. So I went to the gym and um, it was quite intense uh, first day and um, I could go like a one month training, sometimes I could go and hide myself because the training was too tough and I thought boxing was not meant for me. So uh, there was a time I was uh, going for jogging around my neighborhood and a man just slapped me. So I wanted to go back to the gym to learn on the skills so that I can know how to defend myself in such uh, occurrences. So that is what made me to go back to the gym. I actually didn't want to become a professional boxer or even to be in the ring. So that is how I found myself in boxing. So the platform was created for me by our coach, Alfred Analo. Uh, he, he saw the passion in me. I wanted uh, to go and learn the skills and maybe take advantage of any person who wants to take advantage of me or maybe revenge. So that was the main motive. Apparently, I came to learn that uh, I'm not a, an offender, I'm a defender. So that's why right now I'm still working with Box Girls Kenya and through encouraging young girls also to train boxing so that they can learn to defend themselves. As the box administrator at Box Girls Kenya, Sarah trains the girls coming from Kariobangi basic boxing self-defense techniques. Even as we celebrate International Women's Day, Sarah urges women to train as boxers as it is a mechanism through which they can learn to defend themselves from the challenges they face such as gender-based violence and femicide. For us, uh, self-defense is not about throwing a punch. Self-defense is about if a, a girl can voice out, a girl can scream, a girl can run, and a girl can share the challenge that they encounter. That is self-defense that we, we train them on a day-to-day -day basis. Grace Ayebo, Program Assistant Facilitator at Box Girl, explains the importance of starting these programs at Kariobangi. Now, na boxing enye wetu kiwa pate yo self-defense, na pia wakieza ku speak out, siyo kila saa ngumi, sengine tu kujiongea, pia yo inasaidia. Domana pia tunai blend na bonini, life skill. Yeah. On this special day, we celebrate the achievements of women globally who are working towards inspiring their fellow women and being the drivers that bring a positive change in the society while highlighting the importance of unity and collaboration in the ongoing fight for gender equality. Happy International Women's Day! Invest in women, accelerate progress!